you know, when I was 18 years old and I'd been raised kind of as a very cultural Muslim from a family that, alhamdulillah, you know, uh, encouraged Islamic values to the best of their ability. But it wasn't something which I personally owned. It was something I kind of had inherited. So when I went to college, seeing disbelief around you everywhere, and I don't mean just in the theological sense, but in the way people lived their life, um, bluntly, kind of just fulfilling their most base desires, living in the college dorms, and seeing that, it solidified for me what I'd always kind of believed in the back of my mind, but maybe hadn't fully internalized, that this way of life is the true way of life. This way of life is the way of life that I want to ascribe to. Now, just a year later, from when I kind of had that initial epiphany during my first year of college, 9-11 hit. And every person who grew up during that time kind of woke up the next day with kind of a decision to make because there was mass hysteria over what should we do with our Islam? Should we kind of be quiet about it? Should we take off the hijabs and shave our beards and kind of try to blend in? Or should we actually try to stand strong with our faith? I remember sitting and thinking about this and really that event when I went back to college just a week later from my second year of college saying, I want to make a conscious decision that I'm going to be a Muslim in a way that everyone can see from this point on, right? I'm going to pray in public if I got to pray in public, right? I'm going to speak about Islam because everyone needed, every, the whole world actually this time, all the Americans were like, what in the world is Islam? And they're coming to the MSA, they're coming to, you know, all over the, the Masajid. They're saying, tell us a bit about Islam. So for me, it was a golden opportunity to say, you know, this is who I want to be. Um, I'm ready to speak about this. I'm ready to wear it on my sleeve. I'm ready to also support my sisters who are actually, you know, wearing the hijab as an obligation to say, you know, I have to do my role as well to show that I'm a Muslim, right? And to protect, right, the well-being of, of uh, you know, of our communities. So really those early college years is when I realized it and it was through experiences that were thrust upon me, right? Like, and I didn't choose to wake up in a world where uh, that, uh, you know, Islam was under attack and Muslims were under attack. But, you know, Allah has amazing ways of, of putting us in situations that bring out the best in us. So um, definitely, you know, that second year of college of when you literally couldn't walk around the campus and there's not reporters going around or an event that's speaking ill about Islam, or questioning, you know, if Muslims belong in this country was a time for me to say, this is who I am, this is what I believe in, this is what I want to stand for, for the rest of my life. If you're benefiting from this content, then please make sure to click subscribe and make sure that you turn on your notifications.